might work while I go upstairs and get myself a cup of coffee. After that, I'll come back and we'll do all the talking as an experiment. So, what? <laughs> basically quote the big one but still quite a lot. It works the same way as the previous one, so when we turn it on, the lightsaber is gonna yeah. Oh, the on. Oh, on the key. Okay. There we go. Now we've seen this already, but due to the much lower output voltage of this transformer, if we take this thing away from you and give it to someone who is not wearing the shirt of a partisan player, <laughs> yeah there you go. In this case, well the lightsaber is not gonna clap. Yeah. Why? Well, due to the much lower yeah. output voltage, ions aren't able to travel the distance and yeah. the lightsaber doesn't glow. But is there a way to make the lamp glow without actually moving the lamp and without changing the thing about the transformer? Any small issue? Uh, well, maybe, but we don't have enough moisture here to add, so... Yeah. But we need to add something that is that is good. Mm. So... The problem here is that we don't have enough uh, electricity going over to, to the lab. Now, can we bring it over there somehow? Something to transfer it, yeah? Yeah. So yeah. Would anyone like to become the wire? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, so much to hold it. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Or maybe we can do it too. Yeah, one Like a chain. If sure. you yeah. But generally, generally I'm, I'm not completely sure that it will work because sometimes well, the resistance now, is very big. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> So I can just touch him. Yeah, and yeah. you hold lamp, yeah? Yeah. And you grab this. Okay. Yeah. And pay attention to the uh, to the lightsaber and Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, it works. It works. There we go. Yeah. As you can see, the lightsaber glows, that means that we have shown that we can transmit the current through our body. Nice. Now a very important question for all of you. Did it hurt you? Did you feel anything? No, that's the thing. Now, why didn't it hurt? Well, thank you very much for your help. Yeah, thank you. uh, so, in this case, Not we have. Uh, yeah, but generally we have shoes, which means that's we're not exactly on the ground. Think it, yeah. But it is still working regardless of that. Even if we jumped a bit, it will still work. Uh, one thing that is really important in this case is the fact that we have some characteristics of the current that we aren't usually used to. So the voltage is once again very high, but uh, the frequency is also high and the intensity of the current is very, very low. That means that uh, we have something that scientists call the skin effect, and the current mm. needs to find a very quick path to flow through, and that is what the name says, through the surface of our skin. So the current doesn't even go a bit deeper in order for it to reach all of our receptors for touch and for pain, which are just a few layers of cells underneath the surface, and it definitely doesn't reach all of our important organs that are much deeper within our body. So that's why we don't feel anything, and that's why it doesn't hurt us. Now we've got to explain the tickle. When you uh, when you touch the thing, what? Maybe some vibration because of the motion. Uh, Wait a second. So when you when you grab a hold of the thing, the current goes directly to the surface of your skin, so you feel nothing. But when you move your hand away just a bit, you can see and you can feel the thing. You can see the lightning. And All right, go ahead. Just a bit closer. Oops. <laughs> it it hurts a bit. 